Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to another Ocarina of Time randomizer. I just can't seem to get away from these things. But this one's the Devil Seed, man. Mark of the Beast. Nah, I'm just being stupid. But yeah, it is a bunch of sixes. Um, playing it blind, though. I just kind of generated it. And apparently we have the Goron Ruby to start. And a silver tunic. I did set that. Uh, Goron tunic is true random, so I have no idea what color that's going to be. And Zora tunic I set to gray. I've never seen a gray tunic before, though, so... Yeah. And the other requirements, the rainbow bridge is medallions, open forest, open door of time. I get hints from gossip stones if I have the stone of agony. Maps and compasses are in the dungeons. And I did not set fast Ganon's castle, so yeah. I feel like that's kind of the standard way of playing. Magic meter already, well, the luck is running true to form. Thanks. Felt good. And I also stretched the aspect ratio, so yeah. If you don't like it, sorry. You'll get used to it though, just keep staring at it. <laughs> nah, man. It really doesn't matter, I get it, it makes everything look fatter. Because it's only supposed to be 4-3, but who cares, man. If you worry about that stuff... I don't know, maybe you should reconsider what you worry about in life. I'm one to talk. Anyway, here we go. 23 rupees. I'm not buying anything, I'm just here to steal your safe money. Because this is actually my fourth seed that I've played through. There was the one that I recorded earlier as a Let's Play. Um, and then I did two other ones off screen just for fun. And I've come to notice that Deku Shields and Deku Sticks, like there's no reason to ever buy them. Because you find them pretty frequently, I've noticed. I'm also going to fast-forward a lot of stuff. Dude, Link, get in the hole, man. Like that! Personally, because I just have no more patience for Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask after having played each of them 8,000 times. So all the unnecessary Ocarina songs playing like three times over. Like every moment of thing that you wish you could speed up. Thank God emulators give you that fast-forward option now. And I'm going to be abusing the hell out of it. But if it gets too excessive, I'll be cutting a lot of stuff out when I go to edit this, too. So, hopefully it'll turn. What I've come to notice is at least six hours to complete a seed. Hopefully it'll turn that... It would be awesome if I could cut that time in half. Between fast-forwarding and cutting out all the unnecessary travel time. And I'm deciding to go explore Hyrule Field and stuff. Because I'm... Being that this is the fourth randomizer I've played in a very short amount of time, I'm sick of doing the Deku Tree first and all the standard stuff. But unfortunately, <laughs> um, a lot of things in the game, well, particular, particularly Saria's song, Saria, however you want to say her name, um, you can't learn that until you do the Hyrule Castle stuff, like get Zelda's letter and all that crap. So, no matter what way you spin it, you have to sneak it to the castle pretty early on if you want that song. Now, hopefully, this is completely blind, as I said, so I have no idea. I did also check the spoiler log option, which apparently changes the item layout or something. I don't know how it specifically works. If somebody wants to explain it to me. I'd be interested in learning, but I mean, it has that thing in parentheses, like, affects item layout. So I'm assuming if you don't check it, the items will be different, even though the seed number remains the same. I don't know. I don't know how that works. But, even though I generated the spoiler log, I have not looked at it. It's kind of only there if this turns out horrible and I need help. But hopefully that shouldn't be the case, especially considering I've seen what this... Randomizer tends to do four times now, well, three times. That was useless. Can't do the bomb chew things because I don't have bomb bag yet. That little girl chasing the chicken should be an assist trophy in Smash. I'm just fast forwarding to nighttime so we could do Little Richard and get Malin out here too. Milan. I like this tuna color actually.
I also feel like I'm going to play a lot better than I did on the other randomizer I have up on this channel. Because that was the first time I've played Ocarina of Time in... I want to say at least a year, maybe two years. And it's just like anything, it's very easy to get rusty. Dude, no way, really. <laughs> um, thanks. I don't know why you have a sword. That's crazy, man. I'm usually very unlucky with stuff, but my Majora's Mask randomizer was extremely lucky. And getting magic in the big Oron sword this early? I don't know, man. Maybe. I don't want to jinx it, though. Wake your ass up, buddy! You know what? I'm just gonna cut all this out. We've, we know how to sneak past guards. Let's just see what the song is and all that. Alright, Impa, what do you got? Alright. Dude, really? C-Stick? Yeah, I'm probably like one of the only persons who prefers... Persons? People. Who prefers C-Buttons over the C-Stick. At least when it comes to playing N64 games that are designed with C-Buttons in mind. That's why I can't play Perfect Dark on the Xbox 360. It doesn't work. I'm used to one control stick and then four C buttons for the other thing. Even though it's clunky and outdated, that's how you play that game. Also, screw Andrew's chickens, and I hope that she's not holding on to something like the bow. But I'm, that's another thing I'm sick of, just like doing the Deku Tree first every single time. I'm sick of rounding up those damn chickens. <laughs> that's another thing I don't have patience for anymore. Here, man. I need to trigger the Happy Mask shop. Alright, what can we do? I don't have a shield or a sword or anything, so... Heart piece on Death Mountain, I suppose. Can't really do anything in Goron City yet either because I don't have bombs. Or Zelda's Lullaby or Sario's Song. Yeah, it's really super. I'm using Project 64, which this randomizer says explicitly it's highly advised to never use Project 64. And there is one glitch that I keep running into with all the seeds I play. But it's very minor and I don't mind messing with it. And I personally prefer the ease of use that Project 64 has over any other emulator I've tried to use. So, it's no big deal. But, the one thing that does suck, well that, that's crap man, I've been building up my wallet pretty well and that was a waste. Um, what I was gonna say is this fast forward button that I'm abusing. It must be a keyboard button. I can't map it to a button on the controller. Like, I would, I'm using a GameCube controller, and I would love to set that to Y or X, which are currently unused. But it has, it has to be F4 on the keyboard, so it's a pain in the neck to take a hand off of the controller just to press F4. Gonna use this chicken, actually, to see what the heart piece by the cow is. I personally prefer to do this as Adult Link with the hookshot and just drop down from the roof. Or even take the owl as a kid and drop down from the roof. But this is an alternate way to do it that also works. Even though the chicken is highly annoying. It's another reason why I try to avoid throwing him in the cage. Got it. You're coming with me, chicken. Enjoy your new cow friend. Okay, that's normal. Uh, let's check the grotto while we're here. What I've also come to notice is the bottom of the well typically has at least one, if not two or three, crucial items. I don't know why, but every seed I've played, the bottom of the well has had something outstanding in it. 
Dude. Damn, damn. Something else. Oh, the ice cavern typically has... Usually the map chest of the ice cavern has an item, I've noticed. Another thing that seems to be common among all seeds I've played is Volvagia in the Fire Temple typically has a small key, which is a pain in the ass because it makes you have to... I'm waiting for nighttime to trigger Dompe real quick. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it seems like you all the small key that Volvagia has is usually one that you need in order to activate the shortcut in the fire temple that lets you get to the top of the boulder maze faster, which is a pain in the neck because it means you have to go through those annoying block pushing rooms at least twice. So hopefully that's not the case this seed, but I wouldn't be surprised. Nothing good so far. Well, that's not true. We had Big Oron Sword and Magic. The former of which is just kind of convenience, the latter of which is required. So hard to control when it's going this fast, man. <laughs> Alright, uh, Lon Lon Ranch. I gotta wait for daytime, too. So we'll just jump around like a madman. <laughs> Jeez, man. <laughs> okay. Isn't this so much better than actually waiting and doing everything the standard way? I think so. Of course, if it's your first playthrough, it's a damn shame to miss out what this game has to offer, but in terms of replay value, there's only so much you could sit through. And that's interesting, although I don't have any other warp song, so the only way, if I play this, to get out of here is to save and reset. Well, damn, look at that look. <laughs> I love how he just stares at the ocarina in total shock. Um, this never is anything useful, but on the off chance that one time it is going to be, I gotta always look. I found it's usually always a blue rupee or a piece of heart. But I don't know if, in a randomizer, if you could say something is almost always whatever. I mean, it is possible to design the logic like that. Oh, palm shoes. That's actually extremely useful. Zora's River, let's go get magic beans and the chickens. That's two heart pieces. Yeah, this is good. That was actually opportune timing to pick these up. Hey! I'm gonna beat you. Nah, there's no way. Check in with Talon, dude. Yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna waste time cheating, or at least making it easier with moving all the chickens to the corner. What? It wasn't that one? Dude, really? There we go. Alright, where's the one that's usually the easiest one to find? Alright. Give me something good, please. Like your daughter? No, I'm just kidding. It is weird that it is canon that Link marries Malin. Right? Isn't that an official thing? Which explains why he's not dead in Majora's Mask and why Twilight Princess Link is a rancher. Interesting stuff, man. We could get our first spider, too. Although, I kind of hope this is one of those seeds where every reward of the Sculptulas is useless. Although, collecting 50 really isn't that hard. It's just make sure you get every single one in the dungeon as you're passing by them. And you should get to 50, no problem. Alright, so we could buy three, no problem. Get a rupee from the rock. 
to get up to 40 rupees and get that fourth one. And then just for convenience, I'll probably buy a fifth one via getting rupees from the frog. That's the plan. Let's plant this for adult use, convenience, whatever you want to call it. And now to get that rupee from the rock. There it is. Jeez, man. Alright, this should be plenty for the desert bean and the crater bean and Lake Hylia. Those are the three big ones. And then if I do buy another one, that's really just for convenience in the graveyard because I've noticed getting to that crate up there above Dompe's grave is harder to do with the hook shot. If you get the long shot, it's no problem. But since it's a progressive thing, it might be a while till I find the long shot, so the bean would just make me check that item faster. That's all it is. That's all that is. That's only decoration. <laughs> that bub rub thing. Din's fire, yes. Shadow Temple is doable, I guess. Not yet. I'll come back on the way back back for the frogs, because don't have Zelda's lullaby or the silver scale, so it's a dead end up, up ahead anyway. So we've got the grotto to check, and the other heart piece. You can't tell me that's not... Um... Convenient, I guess, is the only word, best word to describe it. The Iron Boots, okay. Well, if we find the bow, we could do the entire water temple. That's not true, I need the hook shot. Okay, crap. Well, now we get a crap ton of rupees, play for the frogs, and buy another bean. But yeah, what I was saying is, another thing I've noticed being that this is my fourth seed, is the Goron Tunic and the Zora Tunic are completely useless. You don't need them at all. As long as you have enough heart containers to increase that timer. Probably the biggest challenge is fighting Volvagia without the tunic, but as long as you have a bottled fairy, it resets the timer in full. So it doesn't matter. And then the most challenging room in the water temple is the one in the central chamber where you have to sink down where the block raises, and then you need to use your hookshot to kill the four or five spike balls and the two or three clam enemies. Nice, man. That's plenty for another bean. Let's get it. There are a few things I hope and pray for every time I generate a new seed. Um, let's see what this is. But yeah, some of the stuff I hope for is not having to do the ice cavern because I hate that place. It's too much pausing and messing with blue fire and pushing blocks and that stuff. Although it's great, especially your first time playing the game, in terms of replay value when you've seen it 8,000 times over, I don't have patience for it. I hope that the fire temple isn't an extreme douchebag in terms of Volvagia's inconvenient small key that he sen tends to sit on. And anytime you could skip something, like the water temple, bottom of the well seems to be not skippable. It's really the ice cavern and the fire temple that are the biggest headache, and maybe the water temple. Yes! All right, adult link is definitely doable. If I find the hook shot, that's forest temple, and Water Temple are fully completable at that point. Ah, oh, crap. I don't have a sword or a stick. I, I never bought Deku sticks. But I do have bomb shoes. Here 
you're done. And I triggered the grotto, but that's another two wolfos, and I feel like these four bomb twos might be more important, so I'm gonna pass it up for now. Okay, well, at least that guarantees another song as Adult Link almost immediately. Time for the Grotto Rush. In one of the seeds, I skipped the Deku Tree and I found so many useful items among the Hyrule Field Grotto. It was ridiculous. Speaking of, there's the Slingshot. That's another one, the Deku Tree. Anytime you could skip that in one of these seeds, it's fantastic. Because that's like the worst 3D Zelda dungeon ever because it's too tutorial-esque. <laughs> ah, crud. Well, at least I can afford the next grotto. Gotta watch those bomb shoes, though. is starting to crash. Okay, so Lake Hylia, set up Scarecrow Song, plant the bean, maybe get a spider. It really is just one spider I can grab without the boomerang. Fishing, that's an option. No, it's not, I don't have a sword. That's only adult. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, what else can we do in this area? I think it is just the Scarecrows. I can't dive to Zoro's Domain or pick up the bottle yet. So take the owl back and become Adult Link? Hey, what's up? Shut up. Shut up. Get out. I know, the Deku Tree. I hope I never have to go in there. Do you have to play for this guy too, or is it really only the one guy that it matters? I never remember, so I always just do both, so I don't get screwed over on the off chance that you do need to play for both of them. Alright, Owl. Although, wait a second, Gerudo Valley. Two heart pieces, let's do it. Do 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 do. Oh jeez, why aren't they in Smash Brothers? That would be an interesting item. I'm still voting for that market chicken girl though. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Alright, uh, I guess we'll get the crate first, because can't you get the crate and still make it to the waterfall, or do I forget? Uh, well, we're about to find out. This thing I think was the silver gauntlets in my most recent seed. The boomerang, dude! Holy crap. Alright, can I get to the other one? No, dang it. Man, boomerang and slingshot, so jabu jabu. Well, now I need Rudo's letter. I also have no idea where the medallions are because... I could care less about the spiritual stones. The only reason to get them is to get another song, which could be highly important depending on what other songs you get. That's trash. Okay, now to the owl. <laughs> that water sounds ridiculous in high speed. I gotta slow it down to make these tight turns. Yeah, Temple of Time it is. Well, actually, I should stop in the mask shop, too. Get away. Grab some more rupees, why not?
How sweet would it be if you could just like do random like parkour stuff in real life and get more money that way? <laughs> I mean, I guess you could be really good at free running and have somebody sponsor you or something. Can you get sponsored for that? I wouldn't be surprised the way that took off. I have faith, yeah, whatever. Dang it, I do that all the time. Okay, Temple of Time, let's see where the spiritual stones are and see what is a completely optional dungeon. Completely in quotations because all dungeons have treasure chests which could have something we need. That's another thing that seems to be typical. The boss drops. The heart container is usually the compass or the map. Not always, but sometimes. All right, Deku Tree is trash. Link's Pocket is trash. And then the Forest Temple is trash. Well, that sucks. The Forest Temple is one of the best ones. All right, Kakariko. What do you got, Andrew? Yeah, all right. Song of Storms. Don't have the hookshot. Can't get onto the roof. Actually, that's not true. There's probably a way, but I don't know it. I do know how to get this heart piece, though, without the Song of Time. Thanks to Nintendo Capri Sun. I never knew it before that. Okay. It's weird, though. There's a lot of stuff. This game has been broken over and over again, so it's very hard to not know of tricks in this game, or whatever you want to call them. Wow, really? It's what it's supposed to be. This is also where the game glitches on Project 64, I've noticed. Not here, but when you come back to play this as a kid, These grottos, this one and the Kakiri Forest one, tend to be something good, I've noticed. Usually, well, actually that's what I was gonna say. That's like two seeds in a row, where one of those um, grottos has been one of the wallets. Actually, the one that I recorded in the Let's Play, where Link had the black tunic, um, wasn't the Kakiri Forest one, was the giant's wallet. Alright, don't miss it. What the? Dang it! You missed it, you stupid... Yeah, whatever. Oh well, that's... One of those things now... Where... I'm gonna say, let's screw the spiders for now. Well, that's just one. Either way, I'm putting Skulltulas on, like... The back burner, I guess. I was trying to think of a different phrase. Oh, jeez, don't miss. Actually, bomb shoes are way easier to catch this guy with. Run into him! Get over here! Thank God. This guy has been mixed. Sometimes he has something good, and other times he's complete trash. And apparently, he loves to be trash. That noise is so cool. Almost forgot about this. I was trying to find the Lost Woods exit, and then I was like, wait a second. Zelda's Lullaby. Thank God, that changes a lot. Kind of. Well, yeah, it does. Alright, speaking of the grottos... These are the only two Song of Storms grottos I'm aware of. Well, there's the Hyrule Castle one, but that's just for a spider. There's no chest in there. So this thing has been good to me the past couple seeds. Yes, and it's still good. That means Rudo's Letter. Zoro's Domain. Well, I could do Zoro's Domain anyway. I just got Zelda's Lullaby. I need sticks and nuts. 
Give me a strike! Yes! Okay, that's one sword for Kid Link. Should I need it? What else in here gives you stuff? Does this guy this guy doesn't drop the notes, right? Nah, whatever, let's just get out on with things here. Alright, where is that troll bat thing? You're dead. Okay, so I can fish as an adult. It's very easy to miss double defense because it looks like a, a heart container, like I just picked up. And if you're just mashing through the text... What the heck? Okay, so fishing... I don't have the hook shot, so I need the bean plant. Give me something useful! Well, okay. Uh, ha, ha, ha. the bean. I need to find bombs, too. Especially now that I'm out of bomb chews. Wow, what a real wonker. It's always 10 pounds. Did they change it so every single fish is 10 pounds? I've noticed that. 10 pounds every single time as an adult and 8 pounds as a kid. And that's the bare minimum requirement anyway. Shut up, Navi! Jesus! Alright, um... We've got options to warp out of here, so let's do the beans before I forget. What's interesting is one of the most recent seeds I've played, I think it was actually the last one I played, I had to go through um, the wasteland backwards. I think I can learn a song as a kid, even though technically we haven't met Sheik yet. Yes. Oh, sweet, there's the other bean thing. I guess I could do this. I have the slingshot and the book. Uh, Boomerang. So I could come back here too and do the kid's side. 40 seconds so far. Alright, we need to find more hearts or the Goron tunic. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I had to go backwards through the haunted wasteland where I found the gold gauntlets. It was the only way I could get to the Gerudo region, too, because I didn't have the long shot or Epona's song. And then come to find out that um, deep inside the Gerudo training grounds, I found... I think it was the long shot. And then in Ganon's castle was the Zora tunic, which is really weird and almost broken logic, but at the same time, you don't actually need a tunic. But the long shot, though, requiring me to go backwards through the Haunted Wasteland, that kind of is broken. Because that's kind of reaching into glitch territory, or, well, not really a glitch, but... Yeah, I walked all the way back, and I used the hover boots to get into Gerudo's Fortress. Thank god I had this stick, dude. I thought I killed this dude already, what the heck? But yeah, I walked backwards through the entire wasteland, got to the thing, the gate was down, and I thought, well, I can't even get in here to free the carpenters or anything, but then I was like, wait a minute, what if I get caught? And I just walked a couple more steps, and the gate guard spotted me and threw me in jail, which gained me access to that area that was inaccessible. It's just like a really roundabout way of doing things that kind of breaks the logic in a way. But it was interesting. Hey. 
Alright, you I don't have time for you. Well, I do, but I just... Alright, you stay over there, and I'm using the slingshot instead of the boomerang. I just find that to be more effective anymore, because it's easy to miss with the boomerang. Alright, small key. No, okay. That's the thing I've noticed with this temple, is you never know what side your first small key is going to be on. Because it's possible to never have to be a kid at all. You could skip the entire kid's side and just do this entire thing as an adult. But if your first small key happens to be on the kid's side, you have no choice. Well, I guess heart pieces aren't completely useless because they do increase that timer for not having a, the appropriate tunic. Okay, well, we're stuck here, so now what do we do? Have enough rupees to check in with the other sell uh, yeah salesman. So there's that. Um, there's still that grotto, but I'm out of bombs. So that sucks. I have the silver scale, so yeah, this is fast access to Zora's River slash Zora's Domain, which is fast access to Lake Hylia. Okay, I got my next objective in mind here. This guy's been mixed too. All right. I think he was the Zora tunic on one of my seeds. Maybe the one I recorded? I can't remember. Screw the memory game. If That's another thing I love to avoid. And actually, every single seed I've played, that Ocarina memory game has been trash. It's either been a Deku Shield, or Rupees, or maybe a Piece of Heart. And all three of those are gutter trash. Yeah. So, I don't have the letter in a bottle, can't do Zora's Fountain, but the only reason to ever go there as a kid is for the Sculptula. Because as an adult, the tree that it's in is not there. And, for some reason in this randomizer, they sealed off that weird Zora's River area as an adult that requires the uh, hammer, where normally there is a Sculptula. It's just a very strange choice to seal that off completely. But otherwise, Zora's Fountain has no use as a kid other than Jabu Jabu. And I need a stick. I should be able to grab that again, too, after going to Lake Hylia, because this whole area will reset. It's always awesome when things work out. Like, everything's alongside the path that you're going to anyway. That's how it was with my Majora's Mask randomizer. I got super lucky with the... Pathfinding is not the appropriate word. It's just luck. That's all it is. I gotta say, I normally prefer black over white, but this tunic is pretty cool. Especially those three lines on the back? What, what is that? Why have I never noticed that before? Are they supposed to be wrinkles or something? Alright, this thing is almost always a heart piece no matter what. Well, blue rupee. I gotta stop saying that. Ooh, this is almost always... Like, you didn't make this thing. Shut up. Yeah. 
All right. The letter would be convenient, but very unlikely that it's going to be. Bombs, yes, all right, the Dongo's Cavern. As an adult, though, never go there as a kid, unless you like to waste time. Diving game. This guy's been kind of 50-50 on me, too. Sometimes it's just a heart piece, but I think two seeds ago, he gave me something really good. I'm trying to remember what it was, though. In the vanilla game, he's the silver scale, right? Holy crap, dude. Light arrows. All right, well, that's one step out of two required for Ganon. Let's go to Goron City. Could check those two chests. Could light the torches. I don't have the song to make Darunia dances. Whatever. That's really the only thing. Everything else here is obtainable. I could open the door. Actually, one of the, I think it was two seeds ago, I forgot all about this rotating pot and playing the song for Darunia, and I forget which one, but one of them had the long shot, which is what was screwing me over. Like, I literally checked every single thing in the game except for these two things. Thank God, man, that thing took like eight tries. A bigger bomb egg. Thanks, I guess. Okay. Always gotta check to see if it's double defense. I don't know. Three sticks. Slowly building them up. What did I learn from the other one I recorded? To kill Baronade without a sword, you need at least eight Deku Sticks. But that's irrelevant at the moment because I can't even get to Jabu Jabu until I find the letter. I'm really uh, skimping out on these spiders. That's like number three or something, right? I haven't been picking up any. Thanks. Almost forgot about this. I was gonna... What was I gonna do? I already forget. Alright, uh, Kakariko. And grab some more Skulltulas and probably get up to 10. Oh wait, this dude. Definitely want to set up for the Skull Mask, because that's... Two rewards? Or one reward? One reward, setting up for two, because it's one step closer to the Mask of Truth. Anything to avoid pausing, man. Let's hope and pray that getting all the available Skulltulas... And I have the boomerang, so the graveyard one I could get. Hopefully, that'll be 10. And I have the Song of Storms, which now we're getting into that thing I was talking about. Several times that cutscene fails to load the game. Like the song just keeps playing and the screen goes black and I have to reset the emulator. And judging from the warning, I'm assuming that's a Project 64 only problem. So, let's do the spiders first. And also, hold on. For getting even more important, 
I can not only get the song in here, but I can light the stupid torches. So that's kind of been my luck recently, is I can get down here, but I don't have a way of lighting the torches to see what the chest is. Nuts! Actually, they're seeds, right? Okay, it didn't fire. You know, Link has very exorcist-like movements during cutscenes. Like how he was just spitting in circles during the... Oh man, that changes everything. See, that thing is important. That's why it sucks to come down here without a way of lighting the thing. Okay, that's one of the most convenient songs in the game, so that's acceptable. And I could theoretically do the Shadow Temple, although don't have the hover boots. Lens of Truth is complete trash. You don't need it for anything. Majora's Mask... Shut up. Majora's Mask you need it in order to get the Goron Mask, which is like a weird requirement, but I guess it makes sense. What else? This thing and the bean for convenience sake, even though I just got the hook shot and I should be able to reach it with just that, but I have proven in that previous seed that I suck at that trick. I don't even know if it's a trick. I think it's just whether or not you're good at the game or complete ball sacks. And we don't need any more magic beans in this game. Unless you care about that spider above Deku Theater, but isn't there... Yeah, you could use a long shot to get it, I think. Alright, uh... Well, no. Spiders first. Uh, tree. Might as well grab it just to be safe, because I, I don't know what we're at. If we're at 9 or 10 or... Yeah, people are disgusting. I feel you, man. Especially those rich people with like three yachts, one of which is solely used for cheating on their wives. Douchebags. <laughs> Sorry. Just went on a rant there. Dang it, really? I'm still not at 10? Alright, Song of Storms. Be nice, don't break the game. I would say like 40% of the time. I run into this problem. Let us pray, let us pray that nothing stupid happens. Son of a bitch. Well, when did I last save? I saved kind of recently, right? So I should just have to get those spiders and plant the bean again? That's somewhat acceptable. Okay, I literally did all of that stuff three more times and ran into that problem every single time. So now I'm starting to wonder, is it even possible to drain the well? Or is it going to do that every single time? And now I need to think of an alternative besides going down there, which sucks because, like I said, the bottom of the well has been typically where two or three items are. And I'm talking like William Shatner, apparently. Nah, man. You know what I've noticed, though? It's weird stuff that sets it up. Like, the one time it happened for me, I did it immediately after obtaining the Ocarina of Time in the moat. And it was the same thing there. I did it twice in a row and ran into that problem twice. So, I'm thinking you need to do something with the memory of the game, as in change some kind of parameter. So, my thought here... First of all, I got that 10th Skulltula. 
It's so hard to move when it's going this fast. Open the door, Link. Ah, uh, save. Yeah, idea. Let's go outside, make it be daytime, and maybe that'll avoid it. I think my thought process right now is the fact that it's nighttime is what's making that happen. I know it sounds stupid, but in my experience with this problem, I've noticed changing like one little parameter like that can fix it. Point being, it worked! <laughs> Finally! Thank God, too. Now we can see what's in the well. Could it be, could it be, the silver gauntlets? I don't know. Or some shit. I have Zelda's lullaby, right? Yes. So, yeah. What don't I have? I don't have a sword, so I need to find sticks in order to fight the dead hand thing. Stop getting stuck on the ledge like a dumb Denise. Ah, I was hoping that would kill him. It's been a while. It's weird, these enemies are different in Majora's Mask and this game. For example, the hookshot in Majora's Mask does not one hit kill this guy. You need to wait for him to actually spin around, whereas in this game, you poke him in the face with the hookshot and he dies. Ah, you're trash. <laughs> I'm so impatient, man. <laughs> I can't tolerate even the slightest failure anymore. Hi! Thanks, felt good. So this has almost always been something amazing. It's blue fire, that's actually super convenient for King Zora. And may eliminate the need to do the ice cavern at all. Which would be fantastic. Alright, well, we got a max wallet. Completely useless in this game. Majora's Mask is the one where the big money counts. Yeah, what do you know about that ceiling strategy by accident? Yeah, that earlier chest that gave me the blue fire. I've had that be silver gauntlets, the light arrows, lens... no, not lens of truth. Maybe it actually was lens of truth one time, I can't remember. For Roar's Wind, dude! Okay, that's two. We got a bottle, and for Roar's Wind. That's the running tally so far. I'm willing to bet there might even be more in here. I don't know, it's kind of the thing about Majora's Mask. Dude, really? The current randomizer for Majora's Mask requires glitches to complete. Although they're working on one that's very much like this one that should not require glitches. The problem in having played the earlier one that does require glitches and seeing just what exactly gets shuffled around in Majora's Mask makes it so that that game is extremely difficult to randomize without requiring glitches. Because when you start messing with the time-specific event items, like Andrew Caffey-specific items, it really throws a wrench in things, and also can easily make certain quests unsolvable. And... I think I said it during that randomizer. Shut up. I just find Ocarina of Time to be more fun, and Majora's Mask is way more fun to play vanilla without any randomization. Although it's still always fun to do things slightly out of order, but that's also the beauty of Majora's Mask, is you can really mess with that game and one-cycle it. And that's the thing, that's the fun of Majora's Mask, is planning... Shut up. Yes, yeah, planning in between the dungeons, like, okay, I'm gonna do this dungeon, and then I'm gonna do this before I cash in the fairies, I'm gonna go trigger Andrew Caffey Part 1, and then do this. I don't know, that's how I like to play that game, is rack all of that stuff in my brain, and try to get everything done in as little time as possible. And if you're not going for 100%, you can one-cycle that game pretty easily. But if you're doing 100% Bomber's Notebook, I think it requires... YES! 
Minimum of three cycles, I think. Meaning three times you have to reset everything back to day one. Anyway, we're not playing that game, are we? No, so shut up! Ah, I jumped the wrong way. Oh, we're good. There's no rocks. It wasn't a rock. Oh, minor failure. Don't have patience. Okay, that means the room that the Lens of Truth actually is useful for if you have a bad memory, which, you know, I may. So hold off on the Skulltula rooms for now, although that might, one of them has a Deku Baba in it. Baba! So that means I could get more sticks by going in and out of that room, I think. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Alright. Let's see what I remember without the lens of truth. Whatever happens, don't throw the controller. I don't see that anyway. The only game that's ever pissed me off so much is Smash Brothers 4. I was like at the final section of Master Core and I died and I saw stars. It was the only time in my life I literally saw stars and my vision got all screwed up because I was that pissed off. <laughs> Alright, so go to the middle. Go to the left. Okay, we're good, but there's still one more chest by the like like. Okay, so retrace your steps. And then diagonally, sort of. Ah, oh, see, good thing. Nice hop skip there, whatever that was. Thank God, now I don't care about falling down. Well, yes I do, it's a pain in the ass no matter what. this guy, but watch out for a mush face behind you. Stop it. Go away. Alright, I could get at least one more spider, if not both of them that are here. Don't fall in the hole, whatever you do. Son of a fat bitch on rice. Yes, okay. Is there more sticks? Does this also have a stick? I need more. I think it's at least five to kill Dead Hand without a sword. Um, this is the one that has the Deku plant in it. However, can I kill that thing? I know sticks don't kill it. The boomerang? No, that stuns it. Bomb. Yes, but that's gonna give me nuts, which I don't have. Crap, so I can't farm for sticks. Have the Song of Storms on my way to give the bottle to what's his face? I had to bypass the remaining two chests in the bottom of the well on account of no sticks. Hmm, so this will move this chubby guy, which opens up Jabu, which I could do, but I kind of don't want to. The kid dungeons of this game kind of suck. Jabu Jabu's the best of the three. Sort of. Figaro, Figaro, bee 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 bee. There was something else in the back of my mind that I could do that I haven't done in this area. 
I could grab another stick. See this bottle? That means move your fat ass. You know, in waiting to get back to the Temple of Time, I forgot I didn't check this yet. Sometimes it's something good! Oh, it's probably trash. Put the negative energy out there, and the universe will give you trash. My point exactly. I hate that, man. Anytime you say something, like, depressing, people are like, well, if that's how you're setting yourself up for failure, you gotta think positive, and then good things will happen to you. Like, what? Like, you have that much control over the universe. Don't forget to cash in the mask. So this will be Skull Kid, which doesn't matter, but Deku Theater, which could potentially matter. But not yet. Great Fairy. Even in the vanilla game, this Great Fairy is so easy to forget, since you always have to come back for it. Thanks to bombs. That's another thing I've noticed, is great fairies almost never have something I need. Okay, so we unlocked Ice Cavern. We planted beans. Don't forget the beans. Do the beans first. It's all about the beans. Speaking of beans, why is there more than one company that sells green beans? That's one of those stupid things I can't understand in life. Like, you go down the canned vegetable aisle. You know how little shelving you would need? Thank you. I don't really need it because I have the bomb bag. We also have a free song. Don't forget. Whoops. Okay, that's convenient, if nothing else. Uh, what else can I do? The other bean, because I don't have the hammer to get to the fairy. Why are there so many? What the heck just happened there? I like this bean. It's one of my favorites. Get to look at that dirty pond. And those palm trees. Screw the spider, nobody cares. Look at those boobs. Metallic and pointy boobs. I see a thing. Yeah, how's it taste? I saw you coming. Um, great fairy, and then I can't push the block, so unfortunately the best temple in this game is not doable yet. Get away, you stupids. Man, the Gerudo Valley song. Probably one of the greatest Zelda songs ever composed, although Hyrule Castle from A Link to the Past is pretty damn good. Alright, let's do it. In my previous seed, <laughs> I had to relearn how to do this backwards, but now I know it. So, here comes the how much failure can I tolerate thing. Which is basically zero. I want to do this on the first try. It's unacceptable at this point to not do it on the first try. For me. Having a very perfectionist attitude at the moment. Alright, get to the little divot. Stop! Turn, look at the dual boob peaks, and go for the center. But don't go all the way to the line, otherwise it resets you out of here. Shut up! Slowly, now you turn and go down to the bump. Sing a song while you struggle to get through here. Now you turn left, and on the 3DS it's easy to see, because it's very... There's a good shadow that you go to. But here it's kind of just like the low point. And then you go somewhere over here. And now it gets scary because I don't remember if I can just run to it 
or if I will get spawned out. So, we're gonna use the hook shot just in case. Because I think I might have to go a little bit more to Link's left at the moment. Oh, the hook shot is such crap. No, you're crap. Making a dumb video. Eh, shut up. Dude, really? I'm probably fine, too. That's what's so sad about this. There we go. Now we're definitely fine. But I don't have the hover boots. Or the long shot, so I can't get to Gerudo's Fortress. I'm gonna say this is going to be... One time it was the gold gauntlets, but it's not gonna be that this time. I don't have, I hope it is a strength upgrade though. It's trash. Did you expect anything more? It's like Raphael from the 2003 Ninja Turtles. He's like, turtle luck running true to form. Turtle luck running <laughs> true to form. It's not stupid, Raphael's the coolest turtle because he's pissed off all the time and I approve. Ah, uh, I don't know what to do. Hmm, where do I want to go? Okay, I'm here now, so we're kind of close. Well, no, let's do this. Don't need the song of time. This is completable, maybe. But we know, hold on. Remember that this temple overall is gutter trash. It's actually not, it's the second best temple in the game, in my opinion. But, we know that in this randomizer seed thing, this was one of the pendants, or whatever they're called, spiritual stones. Which, for the most part, are useless unless... Hold on, is there any song that I desperately need? The Song of Time would help, but it's not required, I don't think. For some things it is required, but those required things could still be optional. Like the one cell in the Fire Temple, which is normally... I don't even remember what's in there normally. That one in the hallway with the Song of Time block. The only way to open that cell is with the Song of Time. I think maybe you can clip the hammer through the block and it... I've never tried that, actually. But seeing how this is Ocarina of Time and you could do almost anything, I wouldn't be surprised. Finally, equip that thing before I do any more unnecessary stuff. Oh, that's what I was thinking. I don't have the Goron bracelet yet, and that's interesting. I always forget about that, but I tend to find it before I ever think, oh, I need the mirror shield for that, because you don't need it for anything except the spirit temple. It just seems there's a high probability of finding it before you ever attempt the spirit temple as an adult. The chest out here is really strange, the one in the well, because if you have the iron boots, you still can't open it. It, for some reason, expects you to drain the well before you, it prompts you to be able to open it. Really strange. Dude. And the bloopies. Okay, so I need to get to the other side, so we gotta sink. Somebody said you could hook shot that thing, though. But did they mean long shot, or can you actually do it with a garbage hook shot? Whatever, I'm just gonna do what I know.
All right, so we got over a minute of underwater at the moment. That should be plenty to complete the water temple. Again, that one room is the only scary part. But most of the underwater sections of the water temple, you're barely underwater. For that long, I mean. Ah, oh, God bless fast forwarding. If being blessed by God is something anyone cares about, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me at the moment. It's the impatience that's now developing into just general anger <laughs> or something. I don't know. I'm not actually angry. I'm just being dumb. Gotta get the jump slash, man. I just like to do this, I don't know why. Oops. Not what I meant to do, but okay. This has usually been something good. One time it was the golden scale. Yeah. Well, that's more time underwater and in the fire. Yep, thank you, don't care. Um, we might be stuck now because I don't have, well, I don't have a bracelet to push the blocks. But isn't there something else first? No, I don't think there is, unless there's a way to get to that eye switch chest thing. Great description. Uh... Nothing over there. Well, I gotta look. My memory is stupid. That's the block, but can you go around? Well, no, because the ladder is in that hallway where the block is. But can you reach this door without hover boots? No. Okay, well... This temple is now trash, potentially, unless something is hidden further within. Shadow Temple? Although I don't have the hover boots. Does that matter, though? Well, yeah, it probably is going to matter. There's the plant that I put there for convenience. Did the grave already. Don't have Sun Song, can't check that grave. Dompe can screw himself. Ah, too early. Actually, Dompe probably has something good, but I don't have the Song of Time, so that would be a save and quit thing. So yeah, Dompe can suck it. I don't like racing him anyway. Uh, hook shot. This guy has given me some useful stuff. Sometimes he's a blue rupee, though. The Goron bracelet, dude! I was just talking about that. Oh, man. Uh, the bow game, do I care? I don't care. Spiders. Nah, I don't care about the spiders at the moment yet, either. I don't even think I have 20. So, but there is the spider up here we could grab. Well, no, it's, it's daytime. Um, the grotto. I don't think this has ever been something useful. Maybe once. I think in the other one I did record, it was what it normally is, which is 200 rupees, right? Like I said, it's normally trash. Ba-bing, ba-bing, ba-bing! Uh, spider. 
And Dodongo, we know Dodongo is not trash. He's a medallion that I need. That is weird though, if I don't do Deku Tree first, the dungeon I seem to always fully complete first is this one. At least it's quick though, as an adult. I gotta go to the airport tomorrow, man. Flying to my best friend's wedding. Be the first time I've seen those guys in several months. Normally it's like several years, but one of my other friends got married recently. Everybody's getting married, man. It's crazy. It always generates that constant conflict in my brain of like, what are you doing with your life? Like, aren't you supposed to be like this? I'm 30 years old, man. Coming close to 31, that's insane. And when you reach that age, there's all those expectations of like, this is the kind of money you should be making at that old. And this is the kind of success you should have. Goes back to whole, that whole thing of I'm super impatient and can't tolerate any ounce of failure. That's true to real life too. Wake up. The house is on fire and the cat's caught in the dryer. Philosophy is a liar. When your home is your headstone. Did he drop bombs? He did not. This is a room I'm always confused about. Do you need the long shot to get the second spider that's in here? Or is there another way to grab him? The one that's doing his thing right now. I don't know, don't care. The reason I don't care is because of the four seeds I've played now. I've noticed only like once or twice did the Sculptulas even matter? And it was the early ones, like 10 or 20. But going all the way up to 50, they usually just give you like bundles of arrows or five rupees or something. But you never know, it could always be. That 50th one might be the bow for somebody. I am not fighting the Lazalfo, so we're gonna do the adult link ledge grab thing. You just found some trash. Stop it. Yes, okay. Sometimes it takes like eight tries. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, I know why. It's because you saw. The hammer! Okay, so fire temple is doable now. Except I hate the fire temple, so I'm gonna put it off until the absolute last second. The fire temple and the ice cavern are my most hated moments of this game. Fire temple's normally not that bad, but in these randomizers it sucks. Because they usually randomize the small keys in such a way that you have to go through the two worst rooms of the dungeon at least twice. Alright, almost done with this dump. Now, do I care about the spider? No, I don't. So we're just gonna grab the block and fight the boss. No? Normally those bats spot me. That's why I planted that bomb. Here we go. Get over here. You know, another thing I don't have patience for is like slow walking people and slow drivers. Like in public, dude, I'm like practically speed walking everywhere. I don't know, as if light, general life is a speed run. <laughs> I don't know. 
I think it's just that like general sense of stress and anger that's constantly there. So you know, like, you can walk and take your time and smell the roses, or you could be like, son of a bitch, I need to get to the milk. What are you doing walking so slow? <laughs> that's how I am. Some might say it's a little bit of a problem. Is this a one-hit kill with the Goron Sword? No, that's surprising. Considering two jump slashes is death with even the Master Sword. Yep, it's always the map or the compass, man. Forest Medallion, okay, that's the Prelude of Light we can now learn, whatever that ends up being. Um, sure. Whoops, that's not my ocarina, like it's supposed to be. With our newfound hammer, I just realized, Great Fairy and the other side of the crater, which let's do that first. Two Great Fairies, actually. This is another spot that usually has something good, whether it's that, which has not been good, or the grotto up here, or the other heart piece on top of the bean heart piece. Nope. I mean, really, I have a lot of the good items already. It's mostly the long shot and maybe a song. Actually, I'm trying to think of the songs now. Okay, that was a normal heart container. It's probably faster to just do this again. So, second great fairy and some Goron City stuff, like the chest that requires the hammer or silver gauntlets. Wait, why am I breaking that? I already did that stuff. You don't need no ticket. What's that from? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Great, thanks. Um, so let's pull the statue, get that chest, and sing a song or two. Is there anything else that I haven't done? I already blew up the baby, so he doesn't matter. The forest. because Ice Cavern is very close by. <laughs> Mido, dude, he moves like the Exorcist, too. Just sliding around as if his feet are on wheels. So, I hate the Ice Cavern. It's probably the weakest part of this entire game, if I'm being fully honest here. But Zor's Fountain might have some good stuff, and there's the Great Fairy there, too. We have Furore's Wind already, though. That's going to come in handy in the Water Temple. And thank God for the Blue Fire Bottle. That's another reason why the, like, the Ice Cavern gets like 10 extra points of hate for having to remember to get an extra bottle of Blue Fire for this chubby dude. Dude, really? Ice Physics? No patience. One time I came all the way here and dumped the fire and it didn't melt the ice. And I could have stabbed eight children in the face. <laughs> Just kidding. Sorry. Really, ice physics. Hi, give me something useful, please. Thank you. That's actually useful. So Shadow Temple is fully doable now. Um... 
Hover boots really serve no other purpose other than to get to a room in the forest temple early, which may still matter, but let's pretend it doesn't. On the off chance, it doesn't. This once was magic for me, so it might be double magic. Or trash. Uh, fairy first. Um, I'm not sure. Does the hammer open this wall? Because the hammer opens some things that bombs open, but not everything. Man, with the fairies and their constant barrage of garbage. Uh, navigating this and fast forward is kind of tricky. That was the light arrows for me one time. Alright, Ice Cavern, I hate you. Future self, cut the entire thing out except for what matters. Because the Ice Cavern is complete trash. Block puzzles and collecting crap and bottling fire. There we go, the long shot, that opens up so much. Most notably Morpha, who I know of no other way other than bomb shoe hovers to get to his platform. Dude, you're too far away. Okay, thank God it worked. Yeah, to the best of my knowledge, there's no other way to get to Morpha's boss door without the long shot. I can't stand that previous room, dude. I really can't. I do like this wallpaper, though. It seems like a wallpaper you would get in Animal Crossing. Crap! What song do we get? Uh, well, that's Darunia, and that's about it. Well, Skull Kid. Okay. Water temple it is. Let's wreck this beast. Don't say stuff like that. You're a moron. Um, jump slash, pause at the optimal depth, sort of. And now fast forward is going to be our friend. Last time I just edited everything out. Because for some reason, last time I didn't fast forward anything. I don't think I knew about the button. But it should speed everything up without having to really edit it later. This temple really isn't as bad as everyone makes it out to be. I think it's way better than the fire temple. The fire temple can go suck a fat dick. <laughs> I don't know, man. I hate that place. And normally I love fire levels in video games, especially platformers, they're usually fast-paced and wonderful. But in this game, Volvagia is the only good part of the fire temple. Uh, hurry before the timer. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to navigate this thing. Okay, slow everything down. All right, now, can I finally, for once, get to that ledge without having to raise the water? I've done it once in my lifetime before. It's on my resume and everything, cause, no, it's not. I'm not that stupid. Nope, you're trash. Well, we're down here now, so I guess we're doing this. And then set Ferrore's wind and do the iron boot things. I 
don't know, does Furore's Wind help anywhere else besides here in the Forest Temple? I'm sure it does, I've just never thought to use it anywhere. I just know it's a godsend here, and in the block pushing room of the Forest Temple, it's very useful for when you have to flip the first hallway. <laughs> this is so stupid. Watch out, that guy has killed me before in fast forward mode. Oh my gosh, I can barely see what's going on. Hold on, dude. Get up there. All right, slow everything down. I'm gonna die by these little weak enemies, man. What was I saying? I don't know, some crap. Dude! Okay, this is just arrows and bombs. I don't know why I was thinking there was hearts. I need to build up my hearts from goofing around, because that's time underwater that I need for that one room still. Careful, that guy can kill you if you're in fast forward. Uh, there's the block. Let's find the block first and then go back into frantic mode. Okay. The block has been found. Fast forward, boots, go nuts. That's right, the hook shot is on the return trip. Slow everything down because this room is important. Now, where are we? I forget what this room is. Oh, it's the whirlpool room. And I have the long shot, so nothing matters. You don't need the long shot to do it from the floor anyway. That's how I always did it as a kid. I never used that little silver ledge until I realized that's what it was there for. But there's a certain spot on one of these tiles where you could easily grab this thing from the floor. It's obviously way easier with the long shot, but... All right, Furore's Wind. Set it again. Central chamber, raise the water. And I don't think I have enough hearts to do the central chamber room. It's the price of impatience, man. It takes unnecessary damage. And I went the wrong way, apparently. Alright. Grab another spider, why not? Figaro, Figaro. Yeah, I'm super tempted in the name of impatience to do the room right now, but... It might be suicide, considering my heart situation. So, compass room has two pots in front of it and three pots on the top floor. So go to the compass room and refill my health. Come back here, but actually before that, do the eye switch room. Yes, it all makes sense now. Speaking of compass room, here it is. Alright, and there should be three more hearts up top. That should be plenty of time to do the other room. Makes me wonder though, where the heck are these tunics? Deku tree probably is my guess. But we're not going there, unless we absolutely have to. The boss key, boss time. Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> um, so Morpha probably has a small key. Ah, they don't respawn. Of course they don't. Why would they? So, back to the central chamber. No, this. 
which you can also do with just the hover boots. You don't need the long shot for this. It's a little scarier, as in it's slightly slower than the long shot, but it's doable. Okay, now I would for Roar's win, but I gotta do the central room first. Wait, dude, what are you doing? You should have just hook shot. Well, Morpha. I could grab Morpha's item super quick. And maybe not have to do a single thing else in this dungeon. Wait, the water level is not up. The water temple has ED. Uh, good joke. Wait, not yet. Central chamber, you've only said it like 8,000 times. Uh, that means I gotta pause the game again and equip the bow. It's only like three seconds of your time, right? I don't know why I make such a big deal out of it. Full health, how much time do we get? A minute 36, that's way enough time. As long as you don't play like a moron anyway. Which I have done before. I actually got a game over in my most recent playthrough of this. Because the stupid spike balls decided to be dumb. Which, they're starting to be dumb again. What's going on here? It's something about the distance from them, but we got plenty of time. These guys... Get them as soon as they open, otherwise you're going to clank against their teeth. Or the switch, thank you. Okay. Don't fast forward until you know you're safe. And now we can Furore's Wind after this. Alright, two keys, that's enough to go to the carpeted room and skip Dark Link, although I did that in my previous seed and it ended up, Morpha had a small key and I couldn't get there because I didn't have the long shot. So I kind of screwed myself out of the treasures that are near Dark Link. But it also turned out I didn't even have to come back into the temple because the long shot was in the Goron pot that I didn't check until the bitter end of things. All right, what are we doing? We're doing the water level. Actually, you should be able to access that with the hover boots without having to open this door. I've never done it before, but I know... I think it's in the readme file for this randomizer. It's like the quick tip thing where they tell you some things that you can do in the game without certain items. Where the heck is this guy? And you still take the hit. And you jump the wrong way. Could you be any worse at this game? <laughs> it's so stupid, man. It's just a minor mistake. It's not a big deal. But it is a big deal. If you're not perfect, you suck. <laughs> Such a terrible way to think. Yet we do it to ourselves all the time. It's funny how that's a thing. You can accept faults in other people, but you can't accept those same faults in yourself. Why is that a thing? Alright, Morpha. Eight dollars says you have a small key. Actually, maybe not. I have two keys. Yeah, you, you have to, because... We'll get a fairy. That's gonna be useful for the fire temple later. Thinking ahead. Unless, of course, I find the Goron tunic between now and then. Which, I don't know what color that thing is, because I said it's a true random. It's gonna be poop brown. 
Because that's the color of the fire temple. Oh, so funny. Alright, Morpha, don't be a douche. It really does look like a dildo of sorts, doesn't it? Nice round base. And a nice long shaft. Okay. That whole thing about don't be a douche, it's happening. It's because you put that negative energy out there. You're setting yourself up for failure. What's the stupid word? Prophecy, right? Self-fulfilling prophecy or whatever. Dude. All right, you're coming over here. To self-fulfill this. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm being stupid again. I swear if you mess this up. Dude, you messed it up! Self-fulfilling prophecy, you put the negative energy You shut up. God, stupid. Nucleus. Yeah, hurt yourself, you deserve it. Get over here with your dildo ass. Alright, to the corner with you. Don't want to time out. And then I'm going to stab you. And if that doesn't make you think about what you've done... Do you realize what you've done? Sorry, my friend's a little slow. The town is back that way. Uh, heart container, there it is. Small key, told you. So smart. No, I see the light medallion, okay, nobody cares. Fill the water, shoot the sun. I don't think this item has been anything useful for me in the past three or... Yeah, three seeds. Blue rupee. Nope, palm trees, okay. Let's do it, I don't have the golden scale, but we can glitch it and get the item anyway. But it's not gonna be something useful because the logic knows that you can't do this legitimately yet. But I live for that jingle. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm being stupid again. Oh, fast forward. Why do you make menuing hard? In a game with normally excessively slow menus. It's one of the beauty beautiful things about Majora's Mask. Alright, let's do it. Hmm. As much as I love f um, fighting the Gerudo thieves, one of the coolest enemies in this game, in a certain way, it's kind of all the same thing over and over again that we've seen a million times. Well, that's useless, but thanks. Hi. Yeah, the Deku Tree, it's still there, I know. He's not dead yet. I'm not doing my job. But at least Mido's happy. Um, what I was saying is I might cut this out and just, like, cut ahead to the chest on top and the training grounds. Because, I mean, we get it. You kill four guards, you free the pedophiles, and everyone's happy. Save the clock tower! Save the clock tower! Alright, don't need Scarecrow Song, actually, thanks to the long shot. Why not? Dude. I don't know what's up with me with that. It's like when I release the button, I also jerk the stick. I like jerking sticks. <laughs> so stupid, man. Shut up. Alright, two more pedophiles to rescue. They're not pedophiles. They're just weird. I don't know. Link is 17, right? So he is a minor still. Hey. 
Hey you, young man over there, I like the way your dick... I don't know what I'm saying. Aw, oh, what are you doing? That was close. Sometimes a, a bad spin attack like that could be a recipe for das disaster, because then she does her little spin attack that imprisons you, and then the impatience happens. I like that girl and how she changes her outfit at the same time you do. You know what that means? It means 17-year-old Link's getting some. I don't know. It doesn't mean that at all. It's actually funny with the randomizer because her initial outfit is usually a weird color. Like in the base game, if you're wearing the Kakiri tunic, she has a green outfit on. And if you change it to the Goron, it changes red. And Zora is blue. But I've noticed if you have any other color besides that... It's actually interesting. I, like in the other randomizer that's on my channel, the Kakiri tunic was black. Yet her outfit was white. Until I went into first person mode, then her outfit changed to black. It was really strange. Almost like it only can load one black outfit at a time or something. I don't know. I really hope this isn't a waste of time. I mean, I feel like there's a high probability something good is in here, considering the amount of treasure, uh, treasure chests. But I don't know, there's still that chance that everything good is outside of here. Alright, let's think about it. What am I missing? Silver gauntlets and gold gauntlets. Nehru's love, but who cares? I didn't get the fire arrows yet, did I? Or ice arrows. But, I mean, ice arrows don't do anything in this game anyway. Fire arrows are kind of irrelevant. You don't need them for anything, do you? Maybe some torches in Ganon's castle. Oh, burning spider webs too. No, you, there's ways around that too. So yeah, fire arrows are useless. I think. Yeah, they are, because the only spot I can think... Dude, are you kidding me? How lucky could you be? I was just thinking, I don't, I can't push that block. And... That's like four treasure chests. Wow. Could not have gotten luckier there. Alright, what do you mush faces have? Death. Death. I love you, big Goron. Because normally those guys, you hit their teeth constantly. What did I just get? Keys, keys, lots of keys. Actually, you know, I don't have the Song of Time, so I can't get to the key on the ledge that leads to the two right side chests. I don't think, unless there's another way to get to that platform, like a bomb jump or bomb two hovers, but that's technically cheating in a way, so... Unless you could long shot something. Speaking of long shot, Scarecrow. Really, it's the gauntlets, because once I acquire the gold gauntlets, I have everything I need to complete Ganon's castle. So, finding that item is... I already have the light arrows, so it's guaranteed at that point all that remains is dungeon rush for the medallions to trigger the bridge. So I'm literally one chest away from a dungeon rush. But where that chest is... It 
it could be in like the Deku tree or something I'm planning on not ever doing this seed. Which would really suck, but well, what are you gonna do? What else am I- there was something by the, uh, the boomerang that wasn't filled in there. Oh, the lens of truth, which, who cares? Songs? What am I missing song-wise? Prelude of Light, which, actually, I never checked the Prelude of Light. I never went back to the temple yet. <laughs> what the heck am I doing here? This is the only thing that matters. And actually it doesn't. You can hookshot this chest over and over again. Actually, you don't even have to do it over and over again. What you do is when the fire is up, hookshot the, te the chest and mash the hell out of the A button and Link will open the chest even with the fire ring around it and then take the hit. As long as you're mashing A super fast, mid hookshot animation. Holy crap, dude. Two strength upgrades in the same place? Oh man, the luck. Yeah, I don't think anything else matters at this point. It's just the medallions to trigger the bridge and this thing is done. Right, unless, like, all right, songs, the Ocarina of Time. So that's the only reason that the spiritual stones would matter. But is there a song I'm missing? I already have the Nocturne. So I can get to the Shadow Temple, no problem. I can beat the Spirit Temple now. I got the gauntlets. Um, Forest Temple is unnecessary because that's a spiritual stone. And there are no more key items that I need, so the treasure chests in there don't matter. Double magic, but who cares? You don't need it, necessarily. Um, Fire Temple which sucks, but, you know, necessary evil there. Water temple, already got the medallion. The chests don't matter. So I don't have to go back to the water temple. Don't have to go back to the forest temple. Gotta do fire, gotta do spirit. Let's check this real quick. Wait, um, I don't have the song of time, do I? Well, it doesn't matter anyway, unless that's a small key. That's the only thing that would matter in here. I wish I could get to that platform, which I'm gonna test something here. No, it's too high. I feel like there definitely is a way. Like, I'm having flashbacks to something I may have seen years ago. But it might have been a bomb shoe hover. I don't know. Because now is the issue... Oh, well, there's this room, too. So maybe we'll get another key. Ah, I wanted to test it. I've been curious, like, for three seeds now if the hammer could kill these dudes. But it cannot. Key, please? No, a po. Well, this isn't Majora's Mask, so bottles do not matter. Only Rudo's letter matters. And ideally a second bottle to make the ice cavern less of a headache. All right, so now the question is what side do we open? Because the right side you never have to open if you have the Song of Time, which I don't. Let's take a gamble. But then again, what could I really get in here besides double magic being probably the most important missing piece? The double defense. But that's kind of unnecessary too. Key? Yes. Although, even if all the remaining chests along this path are keys, I still don't know if we have enough to get to the central one. The Golden Scale! Actually, well, that... the grotto. That's the only grotto in Hyrule Field I have yet to check. 
Oh, the tunics, too. I don't have any of those. But they're not needed, and I'm screwed. I need two keys. Well, it doesn't add you as finger your asshole. Alright, let's abuse the Shadow Temple as fast as possible. Then we'll trash the Spirit Temple. No, we'll not trash it. I love the Spirit Temple. I used to love this place too, and I still do like it. But it's just not quite up there with Spirit and Forest. Don't have the Lens of Truth, that's probably... The only thing that's annoying right here. But trial and error fixes this no problem with the hover boots. And fast forward eases the pain. We'll get it one day. What else does the Lens of Truth? There's one section where the Lens of Truth also helps. It's the moving platform that's invisible that leads to that spiky room with the ray deads and the invisible hookshot points. But I kid you not, in all of the ra last seeds, I only failed that thing once without the Lens of Truth. It's something weird, like you get to the main platform that's stationary and like count to three and then run diagonally towards the door and you have a very high chance of landing on the platform no matter which way it's moving. At least that's what I've discovered, but I did fail it once. But either way, my point being, even in that situation where it seems like it, the Lens of Truth would be needed, you don't need it. Wow, positioned that perfectly by accident. You got ice arrows and a bottle of magic. <laughs> Do ice arrows have any use in this game? Somebody said if you use them on Bongo Bongo, it actually makes him like slam his fists in the ground. Which is weird, because I thought the Ice Arrows had no special animation at all, aside from the initial shot. What sucks about the Big Goron Sword is it makes jump slashing this guy very hard to pull off. Like, you jump slash his midsection, which is invulnerable. Come on, turning around after one hit. Spin attack! Yeah, you're trash and now you're dead, and we fast forward because nobody cares. And bottom of the well, redead, or dead hand, has two chests, so not this one. Okay. Now to the heart of this temple, which is easy to do pretty quickly. It's one of the reasons why I like this temple, because you can kind of fly through it. Necessary evil of pausing aside. I don't think you ever have to take off the hover boots either. There's one room where it helps. That block pushing room with the spiky things that crash down. Dude. Alright. I hate this room though. These silver rupee rooms are kind of dumb. Again, it's just one of those rooms that's like interesting enough the first time you play and maybe like two or three times after that. But after like 80 times, I don't even think it's that high, but probably after like five times, it's like the, the impatience is inevitable, I think. It's not that bad, though. Playing ocarina songs and pushing blocks is definitely worse than collecting those things. Alright, did need to come in here, so... If only there was a way to get to the boat from the little viewing platform that's in this room. There might be. Um... Dude, really? Whoa! Hold on. I thought I was gonna kill him, that's why I fast forwarded. But apparently I was wrong.
Okay, now to the true heart of the temple with these weird dumb rooms aside. Oh man, the game is suddenly clicking a whole lot. That's weird. When the audio starts clipping like that, it worries me that it's gonna crash or something. Not too early. Alright, you're dead. Get out of here. Nobody cares. Keep moving. Keep shooting. We got lots of torpedoes. Um, left side has a small key normally, so we do need to go check it. At least this pot room is fast. This is a pot, right? Or is this the invisible scythe room? No, this is the scythe. This has two chests, though. Dude, really? One, two... You missed. You missed again. Run to the door! No, nope, that was double magic for me once. It's kind of hard to believe that the Shadow Temple won't have at least one key item in it. But then again, well, there you go, that was increased capacity of nuts. Because, you know, you could always use more nuts. No, I don't know what I'm saying, man. Keep rolling. Blink Biscuit style. Ah, stupid. Fred Durst, man. Is he even still around doing anything? I remember that was like middle school when Limp Biscuit was big for me. And they were always kind of cool, but in retrospect, it's kind of lame in a way. I don't know. Oh god, this room I hate. It. Worst room of the dungeon, maybe. Well, there's the triple skull pot room that sucks too. We're gonna pull this off with fast forward. Push, push, push. Careful, okay, slowly. You're dead, thank you, nobody cares. Chest. Oh my god, it's so hard to control going this fast. You got Zora the Drop prescription, okay, nobody cares. Alright. Now we can calm down. <laughs> Yeah, all the big Goron quest items don't matter at all. Well, I guess the end reward is random, right? So it could be when you turn in the claim check, you could get something useful. So never mind. Yeah, this is the part I was talking about where the Lens of Truth would definitely help. But it's not necessary. Just like count a little bit. And hope for the best. Got it, okay. See, it's not too hard. You just it is possible to count for too long or not enough though and still fall. But then you just try again and I feel like the odds are probably like one in three tries you'll get it. This on the other hand, what the heck? never this annoying. Where is the stupid thing? Is it high or... No, it's not that high. It's the exit one that's high up. There we go. Jeez. I'm in go mode, dude. You're just like one button press after another. <laughs> Almost like systematic in my head right now. I'm like, I feel like a robot. Uh, this 
being stupid. This is the dumb room, but it's not so bad as the triple one that has no purpose at all. Because there's no key item in that room. Not even a small key. The last time I played, I triggered this thing amazingly. I got the final kill and exploded the pot all in the same thing. I'm going to try to do it again because that was very time efficient and cool. Alright, he's dead. Go throw the bomb. Yes, blow up. Yes, got it. Doesn't that just tickle your ball sack? You got 20 sticks. Actually, that's useful because Jabu Jabu's belly has a medallion, so now I have 20 sword uses. See what I mean? Never buy sticks. Just hope for the best. Don't need to backflip on the chest because I actually have the long shot. Oh, not this crap again. Where the heck is it, man? There it is. Always remember, first step of opening a door is to somersault into it and smash your head. Alright, iron boots. Also unnecessary, you do not need the iron boots to do this at all. It helps, but timing helps more. This is the hardest part, you gotta watch that far fan. And you just keep rolling, that's all you do until it stops and then you bust out the hook shot. And yes, the hook shot is plenty enough to reach everything you need to reach in this dungeon. In case you didn't know. Yes! Alright, now where's the chest? Is it this way or the front ways? It must be on the front. I don't know why, in my mind I always think that one's twisted. There's the boss key. Not taking off the boots just yet, because I don't want to pause the game. Okay, now we do it. And I should not have to take off the boots anymore in this dungeon. This room is fun to do fast as well. Dude, the guy screwed it up. Alright, I got an idea though. You're dead. Chest. That's cool that you can hookshot it even though it's invisible. Oh, thank you. Felt good. What is that? Four? I think I've opened at least four trap chests, but I don't know how many there are in the game. But I think... If there's any more at all, there's probably not much. Alright, here we go. Do I care about the spider? No, I do not. Well, there you go. That's probably where one of the tunics is. Probably one of the spider kids has it. Or it's in the Deku tree, or that grotto that I still have yet to check. But I mean, Zora Tunic absolutely has no purpose. There's nothing else water-related in the game. I mean, there's still stuff remaining in the Water Temple, but we don't need it, necessarily. And did I mention that already in one of my other seeds? I think I just mentioned this not too long ago, but... The Zora Tunic was in Ganon's castle, that's what it was. Which really kind of made me shake my head, and at first I was like, Oh, this seed is stupid! But then I realized, like, at any point, you could just spend rupees on a shop and get the tunic. So, if you don't get the tunic that you need, which we've already proven you don't actually need any of them, it's not necessarily proof of broken logic. Although, I guess one could argue that the free one should be mixed in early on or something.
But then, then again, it's also kind of neat because ordinarily in the game, for the shops to sell a tunic is almost unnecessary. The only reason is if a like like takes your tunic and for some reason you don't immediately pick it back up, which I don't know why you would ever not pick it back up. But I'm assuming that's why the shops do sell the tunics in the first place. Maybe earlier on in like the beta versions of this game. There was no way to get your tunic back if a monster ate it or something. This spider's fun to get too. If you actually care about throwing bombs in the pots and you go up to the ledge, you could drop a bomb off the ledge, blow up the spider, and just grab it on your way down without having to pause the game to equip the hookshot if you don't have it equipped. It's the little things, man. Uh... Yeah, that's right. Alright, this clown. Look, shot him. Stab him. Spin him. Stab it and jug it. You're gonna get it in the neck. Oh, man. Blah, 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 blah. I think we're done. We already have the final key we need. We have the boss key. This is gonna be trash. Fire arrows! Okay. But we've already discussed how they're probably a useless item entirely in this game. Unless I'm forgetting about an instance where they're required. I don't know. I truly don't think so, though, because there's the Spirit Temple medallion door of Ganon's castle that has this, a web you need to burn. Okay, this one goes straight, go left, and then go to the boss. Okay. Now, Bongo Bongo, I really screwed up on in the last seed I recorded for this channel. Which kind of pissed me off because I'm... I remember as a kid wrecking this guy in like 30 seconds or less. Domino's Pizza. Alright, so far so good. Except I didn't get enough hits in. Warp up, warp, warp. You screwed up? You screwed up. Fast forward. Oh, you actually have to press buttons to get out. That makes sense, I suppose. Well, I'm screwing up again. But this is where somebody suggested use ice arrows. Which is interesting. I didn't know. I guess I could test it, but I'd rather just kill this guy. Like that. So if I didn't get grabbed, that would have been a good fight. Well, no crab. If I didn't suck ass, it would have been good. You got the water medallion, but I still need the fire one, do I not? In order to get the song. That came out weird. Uh, what do I want to do? Spirit temple? Is there anything? Spiders. I could check the spiders. I got this thing already, Domp, I can still suck it. I still don't have the Song of Time. Eight dollars says it's probably the Nocturne of Shadow. I don't know why I always say eight dollars. It's a random thing. What do you have? Well, that's the first time I've seen that, so it's actually useful. And bombs, alright. Prelude of Light is the Prelude of Light, alright. And I can't play it, apparently. Sea stick Now. We're in medallion rush mode, so maybe I should read this thing. Just, I think it's Jabu Jabu. Is what, Immense Cavern did it. Belly of, yeah, Fire Medallion is there. Just did that. Fire Temple can suck it, but I have to do it anyway. And... Okay. Of those choices, no question. Spirit Temple it is. Would you rather be happy or miserable? Alright, enough with the fast forward. Got through the headache part. Let's do this and have fun. Hunk! 
Honk! <laughs> Making fun of one of the best songs in this game. And I do stand by that. I think this track, aside from the Song of Storms and Gerudo Valley, this is probably the next best, like, absolutely the best dungeon music. Although a lot of people like the Forest Temple song, which is understandable, it's unique and fitting for the atmosphere. It actually creates the atmosphere. In addition to the viney textures and things. Uh, stab it and jug it. Okay, I was just about to say I need a small key. But it's no question I was gonna find one because we already did all of the child side stuff. <laughs> Stomach and clip through the boulder. What is this? Oh, this is that room, that's right. Ah, you missed. That would have killed him. Can I do it before he swipes me? Why did you press the button again? What does it matter with you? Oh, he fell down. There's double defense. Okay. Well, this game is completely wrecked at this point. But I love it because that means we just get to play the spirit temple. And the fire. Crap. Stomach the pot. Okay, now in the past couple seeds, I have done the child side first before the adult side, which is actually stupid because the mirror shield chest only spawns when you exit it from the adult side. So it makes more sense to do the adult side first, get to the outside, and then long shot to the child side chest and do the child side rooms in reverse. I meant to keep spinning that thing, but oh well. Still no tunic. Uh, this I kept doing backwards too. Go to the top first, play the song first. So all the hookshot points are available. Okay, now, stick to one side first. Oh, I guess I need to do the torch. Then the chest. Screw the hammer switch because we already did kid side stuff and there's no need for that shortcut. Now, get to the other side. Can you play the Scarecrow song from here? Navi is making it seem that way, but she does the same thing in the Forest Temple and it doesn't work. And that's unnecessary at the moment anyway. So, we'll do the bottom side kid door first, because that has no relevance on anything. In terms of... fast, ideal, optimal room progression. <laughs> I don't know how to word this. Shut up, get out of here. Okay, switch. Spider, two chests, then go to the adult side. That audio sounded weird again. Who even cares about the spiders? I don't know why I'm bothering. It's just so routine at this point. Alright, so you might be tempted to do the kid side with the fire arrows and stuff, but... Actually, I just need to get closer, I think. What I was saying about the outside 
chests, the mirror shield and the silver gauntlets. If given such a choice due to the randomizer, it makes more sense to spawn the adult one first and hookshot your way over. Alright, fire arrows. Oh yeah, we still have the skull mask. That might be a tunic. The mask of truth might be a tunic. Kind of sucks though. That's a, one of the fun things about this is seeing the colors. The colors, dude, the colors. Remember those popsicle commercials with the dog? Those ice pops were pretty good too, the multicolored ones. A different flavor every lick. That is a sentence that only works when you're talking about ice pops, otherwise it gets weird pretty quick. And disgusting. Ah, uh, what are you? 30 sticks! Alright, well, Baronade is no problem now. The convenience, man. It's working out pretty well. I still want a room with that is completely aligned with iron knuckles. Somebody needs to make a hack where there's iron knuckles everywhere. Even if it slows the game down because the N64 can't handle it. And apparently I suck at fighting this guy all of a sudden. Uh, this is something. Garbage, but that's okay. Oh, please don't fall off the side of the hand. Okay, that was close, but... Alright. Kid side in reverse. Does that mean we don't have to pull the sunblock? Because that would be fantastic. And can you hurt this guy from behind us? Oh yeah! How's it taste? What's hurting you? You don't know. Oh, well, now you do. <laughs> Turd! Alright, you're done. Spider, why not? Now, fire arrow to trigger this, the chest. That door is locked, but is the other... It is locked. Dang it, I still have to push the block. It wouldn't be Zelda if they weren't like, By the way, do you like pushing blocks? Dude, why didn't that work? Get out of my way. It's like Falco. I like how pissed off he sounds in some of his quotes when he runs smack into him in Star Fox 64. <laughs> Still nothing, man. I mean, I know we're limited on what remains. Ganon's castle probably has a lot. I wouldn't be surprised if one of the tunics is in Ganon's castle, too, since it happened to me before. All right, fast forward. Ease the pain. Not Link, you're being... You know, for a seed that is numbered after the devil three times, this really isn't so bad at all. But then again, they do say people in hell have the most fun. It's like that Billy Joel song. What's the line? How's the line go? I'd rather laugh with the sinners than cry with the saints. That's right. But would you rather be burned alive or be given a nice cushiony, cloudy paradise to live in? Because that's what we're really talking about here, because, you know, we all know what exists in the afterlife. That's weird, man, how people can claim... ...just because it's in some book, they think that's what's real. 
Like, where's the proof? It's all in what you believe, though. Who cares? Ah, the long shot. Thank you for making this room a breeze. Makes crushing rocks seem such a breeze. Oh, the dumbest puzzles of this game involve standing on those. Well, they're right up there with block puzzles. It's like, by the way, you know how you like how this song plays three times? Here's another instance where you have to do it. Still a great game, though. Because, again, all this stuff is perfectly acceptable on your first playthrough, and maybe even up to your third or fourth playthrough. Maybe you could call that a fault of human memory. I said this last time, too, the other randomizer I recorded, didn't I? Or was that Majora's Mask? It's like, if there's one good thing about memory loss, you could argue that it's the ability to experience things for the first time once again, because it'll be brand new to you. Of course, you won't remember it, and it depends on how bad your memory loss is. Like, if you can only remember, like, the last hour, like, mid-playthrough of this game, you'll forget everything. So it still sucks. This sun is always like a pain in the neck to hit. There we go. And that's it for the chests in here. Let's see if I can get another quick kill like I did on the other dude. Yeah! How's it taste? I used to love this boss, too. But in having played this randomizer back-to-back... -back, too many times at this point, I think. I can't stand the first phase. Mostly because the witches never seem to line up properly, so you waste your time reflecting a spell that hits nothing. The second phase is fun, though. And we got another Iron Knuckle. the sword away so you can use the shield. Actually, it wouldn't matter because I have to hook shot anyway. You know, I might just cut this out too because this fight can be annoying. Okay, thank God. Now for the real boss fight. The part of it that's fun, I mean. I always like that animation, the glowing effect, and the sounds remind me of so much of all the little, like, laser gun toys I had as a kid. Alright, one cycle, let's do it! Ah, thank god, I wasn't sure for a second there. What is happening? Jeez, okay. It's gonna be garbage, right? Compass or something? No. Okay, that's another one down. So we got Fire Temple. That was the Spirit Medallion, too. Interesting. I guess it's time to bite the bullet. Because this is all that's left besides Jabu Jabu. A minute 52 at full health. That's plenty of time to kill Volvagia, especially with the big Goron sword. The last seed I recorded, I died. 
It was close, though. Had I played just a little bit better, I might have been able to pull it off and without running out of time. But either way, the fairy in a bottle. I'm a genie in a bottle, baby! Oh, I understand a lot of people like the Fire Temple. There are aspects of it that are neat. It's not the worst thing ever, but I think it's definitely a better temple played vanilla than in a randomizer because in nearly every seed, man, this place just gives me a headache. Screw the spider, nobody cares, and screw this boss, nobody cares. Tunic? It could be the Goron Tunic. No. That wouldn't necessarily be unfair or broken if it was the Goron Tunic, though, because... None of this has really been heated except for the crater so far. The Goron special crop! Alright, Volvagia's room. It has to be a small key, otherwise we can't complete this dungeon, so it absolutely is a small key. One would hope. I think this thing has proven to not be broken. Like, they did a good job testing every possible dead end or whatever you want to call it. He's wearing a Batman mask again. What the heck? What are these Gorons doing in their free time? A dominatrix Goron. That would be something. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody drew that up already. Because there's some weird stuff on the internet you could find concerning Zelda games. Actually, in one of my seeds, I don't know what it is, it's the Project 64 Glide 64 plugin that makes these graphical weird things happen. But one time I was in Kakariko at like sunset time and the entire walls of every house and every place was the subscreen. It was like a black and white version of Link holding the big Goron sword plastered on every wall. It's really strange. the hammer could have busted this wall. Probably not. I know it can bust the fake doors, but I don't know about Goron special crop doors. Walls, whatever they are. That's just another thing about this dungeon is most of the chests are going to be keys. Because that would severely screw up the beatability of this. Is that a word? That's not a word. Ah, eh, whatever. Screw you. No, screw you and your dumb commentary. I agree. Is this? No, wait. This is back in the main chamber. Fast forward. Ah, oh, yes, the two worst rooms of this dungeon that I've grown to despise. Cut them out, future self. Okay, now pray to the gods of RNG we get two small keys and do not have to go through those stupid rooms again. Give me a small key, please. Once you were the bow, and that was nice. But I need a small key. Yes, now we need one more. And we only have one more opportunity for it, so... 
We're really gambling with low percentages here. I bet you this is going to be the boss key, and it's going to require me to have to go fight Volvagia and then ultimately go through those two crap rooms again. Because almost every single seed has been that way. No! Thank you for making all of my bitching pointless. I think that Goron, I could see clips of Link's face, so I think it was that same thing I was just talking about. Well, at least we can get to the shortcut. The top level will bomb the thing and open the cell. But this, do not fall. That happened to me before too, and it makes you want to stab eight babies. Not really, you would never do that. It's just an exaggeration of anger to express how frustrating it is. Sometimes when we're mad, we say things we don't mean. Okay. This is going to be the boss key. Because Volvagia called it, dude. Volvagia, almost every single seed has a small key. From my experience. But we're talking, what, four seeds out of, I don't even know how many possible seeds this thing can generate. I'm not doing that math right now. Nine digit numbers. And the possibility of every nine digit number having two technical seeds to it because of that option to generate a spoiler log, which apparently may or may not change the item layout as it says in parentheses. Oh. Hey, side hop. It's like Star Fox, dude, when Andros blows up. Oh my gosh. Yeah, see, there's Link's face in the big Goron sword on his shoulder. Nice tattoo, man. At least the shortcut is open and we don't have to do that nonsense. Scarecrow? Do we even care about the Scarecrow? I guess. I could always just fast forward and cut ahead and ease the pain. Like, what could this possibly be? Besides two spiders and the compass, probably. Jeez. Ah, Gigapa. Whatever he says. Small key? It's gotta be. Right? Because of what remains. Yeah, the small key in the fire trap room thing that chases you. No, not necessarily, because there's Volvagia. So this could be anything. It could be a blue rupee, it could be a recovery heart. Thank you for being a key, though. At least we could do more. But then again, the shortcut is active, so I can't complain too much. Because that's the worst part of it, when you can't... Bomb this thing right here and open that cell, and you have to go through those rooms again. Sorry, I don't know how many times I'm going to complain about the same thing. We're almost done, though, man. Really, actually, now that I think about it, none of this matters. I could go fight Volvagia right now. I have the hover boots. Get the medallion, do Jabu Jabu, and go fight Ganon and be done with this thing. Which actually, that excites me that the rest of this dungeon is now optional. But then again, I'm also here doing it, so... Oh, 
Oh, why didn't I use the hammer? Oh wait, that's what, that's right, you can't. Um, oh wait, no, this is the one you robbed. That's right. And now we get into the unnecessary hammer rooms. Well, actually the hammer itself could be something. Oh, another one of these rooms, everybody's favorite thing. This one's not bad though, because it doesn't have a block you have to push. And a jump that you could potentially miss. <laughs> like that old sluggy room. I will forever hate that room. And potentially even dub it as the worst room in the entire game. I have that much hate for it. Alright, hammer, and then... The Song of Time block Goron cell, which I don't even know if I could trigger that because I don't have the Song of Time. So really, it's just the boss. Yep, that's it, because I could check this out, but I kind of... Like, what could the chest be at this point? Stop it. Okay. Probably grab another fairy, although I don't need it. I do know that the timer resets when you go through the boss door, giving you... So I should get full health, at least. Hopefully this time I could actually beat the dude without having to die first. Which I think I have way more hearts. I don't think double defense has I don't know, maybe it does. Does double defense increase the timer? Or is it strictly number of hearts you have? Somebody knows the answer to that. Please come back. All right, let's do it. Uh, so, Ocarina, because it always has to be there for some reason. OCD thing. <laughs> let's do it. I don't know, what was it, like a minute 36? When we came in here? Did I get an extra heart? I can't even remember. A minute 52? Yeah, I must have gotten more hearts in the process. Alright, dude. I got roughly two minutes to kill you. That should be easily doable. What are you doing? How do you get hit by the hair whip? Really? Well... Yeah, smack the floor in rage, because you suck. Big Goron Sword, take us home. Although I don't really know how effective these extra little bow hits are. That and bombing the holes, like I don't know how much damage it actually does to them. Somebody knows the answer, that's for sure. Again, dude! What are you doing? This is like the worst I've ever done on this boss. Really? And now you're gonna waste my time more? Well... I'm going to run out of time anyway, it seems. I can't believe I got hit like that twice. Or the big Goron Sword is such a beast that it doesn't even matter. Alright, let's clean up this mess. Jabu Jabu. Right? Hold on, I need to actually look at this. I don't even know. I'm just rushing through this stuff. Yeah, I don't have the fire medallion and the spiritual stones. Song of time, and I don't even know what the... Oh, the sun song, which that affects nothing except for the grave. So, cannot check the Kakariko song just yet. So, Jabu Jabu. Whoops. Stone of Agony, that's useless now. Actually... I think it's always useless. Let's just check. Belly of a deity. Yeah, okay. Deity. Whatever. 
Let's do it. And actually, we don't even need to do a single thing. So skip the bubble room, skip the flying clowns that give you the map. No, they give you the boomerang so you can cut the tails. We already have that. Let's just wreck this beast. Must go faster, must go faster. I didn't hear no fat lady. I ain't heard no fat lady! Forget the fat lady, you're obsessed with the fat lady. Scoop, scoop, fast forward scoop, thank you. Watch your footing there. Yes, yes! Fast forward is amazing. All right, slow everything down, let's do it. Yeah, why not shield? We might actually need it for something, I don't know. And Deku Sticks. And I missed. Fast forward. Walk right into it, felt good. Could you imagine if there was a way to get to the ceiling of this room and trigger that platform early? There probably is. It's not going of time. There's a way to do everything. Hi, everybody's inconsiderate. I know. Let's go do some stuff. Yep, skipping the other side entirely because who cares? I took a ton of damage from that stupid Octorok, dude. I left fast forward mode on and just stomached all the rocks. And I even missed the platform cycle because it was going so fast. That's why my health is ridiculously low for no reason. Hi, I was inconsiderate, I know. Now what do we do? We do have to go to the other side. Screw that other room, that's just the compass normally. I don't know, I wonder, what if you bomb you hovered onto the platform that has Zora's Sapphire on it? Would it trigger the elevator, or does Princess Ruto have to actually be on it and the Octorok mini-boss defeated in order for that thing to actually move up? Because it does sink down and lose its spiky outer platform after you beat the boss, so I'm kind of thinking... It is a trigger for the elevator. Plus, what happens if you actually walk onto the spiritual stone without throwing Princess Ruto up there? My guess is it's actually not an item. It's just kind of like a visual thing that you just walk right through. I haven't done bomb tree hovers in so long. I used to do them all the time in Majora's Mask to try to do things early. And people make it look so easy. And to a degree it is, but what I've found, the thing that pisses me off the most about it is I get so high up in the air and I get so close to like the height I need and then out of nowhere Link sinks back to ground level. So all of those bomb trees are then wasted and all of the height that I did gain to bypass whatever it was I was trying to do, it gets for nothing. And I don't know what it is that triggers that. Like the best example that I can think of is in Ikana Castle, the sun block. You can bypass the need for light arrows and the mirror shield in Majora's Mask, where by bomb shoe hovering, or even, like, there's something you do with the Zora's mask, too. All right, buddy, turn around. Let's go. One stick to the butt, and you're done. I don't know, but that sunblock in the shortcut to Ikana Castle that bypasses the need to do the bottom of the well, which is the biggest thing, I can't ever do it. Except on the 3DS. The 3DS has way easier glitches to do, because you actually don't need to bomb to hover at all on the 3DS. There's other things. 
Like gaining access to Ikana Canyon without the hookshot is super easy. I actually have never updated the software of Majora's Mask 3D because I'm scared that it's going to remove some of the glitches that enable you to do things early. Anyway, we're not playing that game. You know, speaking of the whole, why is there more than one company that makes green beans? <laughs> I don't know why I'm coming back to this. But it's the same thing with advertising and marketing, and I'm climbing the wrong wall. I don't know, that kind of stuff I can't stand. Like, why? Even Nintendo. I love Nintendo. I love the games that they put out. But on Twitter, is there really a need to advertise that the Nintendo Switch exists and these are the games that are for it? It's like, people should know that stuff, I think. Unless you're one of those parents with brand new kids that doesn't know a thing about video games. And even then, you've probably heard of Nintendo and at least Super Mario. So you've probably heard of Mario Odyssey at this point. You probably have a kid who's begging to have that game. You know? <laughs> Same thing with McDonald's, too. Do they really need to advertise that they sell hamburgers and french fries? Like, who doesn't know that at this point? The only purpose advertising serves is to plant an idea in your brain that's going to turn into a sale for that company and ultimately go up the ladder to the guy, the CEO or whoever, who has, you know, four boats and a mistress, you know? You're just helping that dude out. So think about that the next time you see an advertisement for 4 for 4 at Wendy's or whatever. I don't know, that kind of stuff always pisses me off. Perceived success, popularity, money, marketing, and advertising. Everything man-made, basically, pisses me off. To a degree. I know there's some good people out there that... I don't know. If you can make somebody's day better by making them laugh or something, then sure. That's good. And apparently I suck at fighting this dude all of a sudden. Maybe it's my, uh... Just desserts, as they say, for complaining about humanity. Dude, I wish you could hit him more than once. Actually, I think that is a way to speed that up. Just take the hit so he raises back up. Raises up! Remember that from NBA uh, Hang Time, I think. You got the big quiver. Huh? I forgot about those things. Alright, to Ganon's Castle we go. Well, I could see what the song in Kakariko is. I'm placing my bets on the Song of Time. That would be the most convenient, but I really don't think I need it at this point. Actually, Sun Song would maybe be more convenient because at least we know that guarantees one more chest I could look at. I'm curious. I'm gonna look. Dompe can still suck it. He might have a tunic. Yep, it is the Song of Time, okay. Okay, Prelude of Light, and let's finish this thing up. I did not enable the Fast Ganon's Castle option, so I do have to go through every barrier room. But the good news in that is there's plenty of chests, 
So the curiosity of the randomizer still exists. If nothing more than to be like, oh, that's where that was, okay. Because obviously nothing actually matters at this point. The Great Fairy? I could check it. As cool as the animation is for lifting those... The only three big blocks in this game, I also don't care. At the moment. Okay, Din's Fire, Fire Arrows. You know, I think I know how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna play the rooms that are interesting and cut out the ones that nobody has the patience for anymore. For example, this room has a treasure chest, so it's interesting enough, but the next room is collecting silver rupees, so people would rather stab their eyes. So I'll just cut that out instead. <laughs> Small key, that's for the light medallion room, right? I don't have double magic, so I should be careful here. I mean, double magic has the probability of being in here, because it's not necessarily required for anything. It's just the convenience. Oh, bottles. Uh, two for the sake of speed. Actually, this whole thing, I'll leave the first room in because it has two treasure chests, but otherwise this is as stupid as the ice cavern. Which actually, it has kind of always bugged me that this water medallion door is the ice cavern and not a water thing. But I don't know, maybe that is for the best because the iron boots mechanic is pretty annoying. Nehru's love! That has a tendency to be in Ganon's castle a lot, I've noticed. Because why not? It's one of those unnecessary items. So it really doesn't matter when or where you get that. The Kikiri sword! Well... Okay. That's interesting. I mean, sticks are better anyway, so... Ah, uh, we don't get to see the big boobed fish. It's interesting that there's a bunch of Zelda games that feature a fish who wants Link... Like Mifa. Well, it might just be Mifa and Rudo. This is another instance where the fire arrows are kind of useless. Well, I don't know, maybe... I know you can hookshot the like-like. The problem is... Dude, really? What's happening here? I think I have to wait. Well, no, I could reach it from over there. What am I thinking? There we go. Now this is what I'm thinking maybe fire arrows have a use for because it spawns this platform. But I think you could reach this anyway with hover boots if you're really careful. I'm not sure on that one. Whoa, get... My guess is double magic in here. Or the Zora Tunic. Since I have seen the Zora Tunic being in Ganon's castle before. Now it's a heart container. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Interesting noises. Fire door. I don't know. This room's not so bad, I guess. But yeah, going back to that whole business thing. Um, and advertising and all that. I don't know what it is, but I have a really strong disdain for businessmen. Like, I understand there's proof that 
our current economic systems and finances and stuff are way better than anything mankind has done in the past, like the barter system. And I also understand a general interest in business. And people like to study things like the stock market and economics. And I guess that's okay. But there's something that always tells me that, um... Businessmen are crooked, kind of. Like, the, it's kind of the same thing how people always say mechanics, like auto mechanics and stuff, they always rip you off. And that's how they make their money or whatever, which... Obviously, that's a generalization. That's not necessarily true everywhere. But I don't know. That's the problem with... working for anybody but yourself. Is it so easy to follow the breadcrumbs to... It's easy to ask yourself, why am I doing this? And the obvious answer is, well, you're doing this so that you get a paycheck, so that you can afford things in life that make you happy. Like in this case, maybe playing a video game. So you need to purchase the video game. You need a place to play it. That's a bill every month. You need an electric bill. Everything that makes you... You know... Continue your mediocre life. So that's the obvious answer of why you work at all for somebody. Alright, we're dwindling down here. One of these is probably a tunic, though. I don't know, man. Maybe not. I must have missed it in that grotto, or... Well, I forgot about that. Also, I need a second key to continue to the medallion thing that you shoot. So this has to be a key, as usual. Another one of these dumb puzzles. Otherwise, I gotta go to the spirit door to find... the key, I suppose. Yep. <laughs> But yeah, back to the whole businessman thing, because for some reason I feel like talking about it. Um, I don't know. I get that every business in the world has a mission statement, and usually people mean well. Like, it's all to make people's lives easier. And hopefully... I don't know, but somebody always has to profit from it. And that's where the corruption begins. And so when you're talking about working for some random company, just because that's how you're going to continue your mediocre existence. And afford food every day and all that crap that you have to do no matter what, because life sucks. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm so pessimistic. There's the key. I don't know. It's so easy to be like, okay, aside from the obvious stuff that you're making money so that you can afford food and whatever else that makes you somewhat smile on a daily basis or at least fake a smile it's easy to instead follow it even further and say okay why am i doing this again oh yeah that's right because the ceo or whatever is making a profit off of me and really i'm the sorry one being used here and it's probably just helping some asshole who already has too much in life and doesn't need any more so, I guess that's why... I guess that's why, you know, people, like your parents and stuff, tell you to find what you're interested in and pursue it to the end because they want you to live happily and not have to work for somebody for no reason. Well, yeah, all of that stuff is easier said than done because it's one thing to find an interest, but then you could maybe carry that all the way to college even get your degree in whatever it is that you're interested in and then come to find out that that degree has absolutely no practical use in society and you've basically shot yourself in the foot at that point and are an idiot. But all you did was pursue your interests like everybody has always told you to do. But now you have to end up working for some random company that some random dude invented because it's supposedly going to help somebody. And... What it means for your immediate life is really nothing useful at all. <laughs> but that's how I think. It suddenly turned really pessimistic out of nowhere. 
One more chest to go back to the game. Will it be a tunic? Will it be double magic? I don't even know. I mean, obviously the entire Deku tree has been skipped. That grotto in Hyrule Field. Whatever's left in the water temple and the forest temple. Other than that, I can't really think of anything. Else. Oh, Dompe. The blue rupee. Yeah, I don't know, man. But none of it matters now. Time to fight two iron knuckles. I really sincerely wish this room was lined around the entire perimeter with iron knuckles. That would be awesome. Turd! Yeah, take the hits. Who cares? That's the fun of this. We need to generate a challenge somewhere. Turd! I love the black one, too. Isn't there more than one in Majora's Mask? Or is it really just the day one grave? I think he might only be the black armored one. Iron Knuckles should be in Smash Brothers, too. But how much more demand are we gonna put on the dude? I mean, it's not just Sakurai, it's a whole team of people that bust their ass, but I, I guess everybody, he does a lot, so. Yeah. Speaking of Smash Brothers, now to go to a really fun boss fight, even though it is repetitive because it's playing tennis. But the biggest disappointment of Smash Brothers since Melee is this man right here. Then shot me with those light arrows. There's an example of the problem with ROM hacks and things. There's always some kind of bad English or grammatical error. Although that could have been a typo because it was just one O that was missing. I don't know, it's... I hate to be that guy that always has to, like, correct English. But... That stuff does kind of bug me for some reason. Alright, Ricky Ricardo. Laugh away. It's... Let's speed this thing up, too, with a spin attack. I can do this all day, man! I love this animation, too. But yeah, that, that fist that he starts this fight off with, why is that not his down B special in Smash Brothers? Why has it never been? I understand in Melee they were tight on time, so they just made him a clone of Captain Falcon. Okay, that was one instance. There's been two games since then. Three now, and I screwed up. Alright, Ricky. That was a mistake. I can do better than that. Tuh. Really? What a volley. There we go. Link should have light arrows too. That would be awesome. But I guess that somehow ended up being Zelda's thing. Right? Or that was her final smash. Now you're gonna do the big thing. Which should be your chargeable standard B, and I was wrong. Why isn't this his standard B special? Falcon Punch is Captain Falcon's thing. I don't know, it really, really bugs me that everything in Smash Brothers about Ganondorf is not Ganondorf, except for his appearance. Makes no sense. But hey, what can you do? It's just a fighting game, who cares? Skip this! Alright, Ganon, let's do it. Chuckle away some more. <laughs> it's crazy in fast motion. And now, video game logic, you knocked a sword that was not in my hand out of my pocket. I know jump slashes have no relevance at all because it goes by number of hits on this particular boss, but it's still fun to do. And speaking of Smash Brothers again, why isn't this, just like Giga Bowser, why isn't this, uh... Ganondorf's final smash. Like 10 seconds of this size Ganon just wrecking the crap out of everybody. Such wasted potential on an awesome character. I will forever complain about it until it's fixed, and it'll never be fixed. 
seemingly because the logic now is, well, he's been this way for so long, why change it? Well, you changed Link, didn't you? Which I'm gonna be curious how that's gonna be, because Link has been my main since Nintendo 64. Until Ganondorf and Falco kind of became the other surrogate mains. Alright. The only chance in this fight to smash him in the head, aside from the final blow. I don't know. I get that they gave Ganondorf now in Smash Brothers Ultimate. He has... He uses his sword for smash attacks. But is that really enough change? He's still Captain Falcon, now he just has a sword. And the final smash, yeah, whatever, those things... It doesn't matter so much, it's just kind of... It would be cool to play as this Ganon for 10 seconds. But it's more so the special moves that I can't get over, considering this game gives him at least his standard B chargeable and his down B. And four games later, or three games later, whatever it is, it still hasn't been changed. Anyway, shut up. Game over. The white knight has beat the devil, ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the white tunic. And considering the seed is the devil's number three times. Stupid joke. Oh, oh, Ricky Ricardo's going to some seal. Do 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 do. All that is befallen. Hyrule was my doing. Yeah, you suck. Do 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 do. Well, there you go. That was the devil seed, apparently, and it was actually not so bad at all. It was really convenient. Out of every seed I've played so far, this one has been the easiest, and I didn't have to do the Deku tree. Chewing on your fingers? I don't know, man. Well, there you go. If you're interested in watching another randomizer, there I got, about, got the other one. Wow, that came out weird. I've got the one on my channel. If you look in the playlist section, there's also the Majora's Mask one. And some other stuff on my... I have some... Everything's organized by playlist if you're interested. If not, that's cool too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.